Welcome back to JTMJ Crafts. How's it going? How's your day going? I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So, we're going to start off today with an Ever Moment and a small bagging from the Shine Shop. So, I want to start with this because I want to let the canvas have a little bit of time to oh, this one's got a lip on it let it have a little bit of time to sit flat okay it is real tight in there that's why I wanted to give it time it's been sit oh ow been sitting in the house for three or four days now sitting on the counter that way it stays about the house temperature all right so I'm just gonna let that just kind of sit over there like that we are going to now go to this one. Let that just kind of sit and open itself up a little bit. What? Trapper's looking at me like, what do you got? You got something good? Jeez, my knife is like apparently dull. Oh, there we go. I found a sharp spot. I need it's my it's my normal daily carry knife. It's it's a little dirty and beaten up and battered, but it's it'll still stab you. So this comes from Shine like a diamond's Etsy shop. What? I didn't order a butterfly. Or did I? I don't remember ordering a butterfly, but hey. Okay. Nope, I don't remember ordering it. There's no butterfly on there, but it, it's cute, so I'll take it. There's that. But. Shining like a diamond. What are you sitting to me? Beautiful butterfly. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. So, I ordered two four placers because, good lord, I love my thin four placers. And I go through them really fast because these aren't quite as durable as the clear or the, the other milky ones that, but are fatter. It's like Christmas. So tonight, the one I'm recording this is actually Christmas Eve, so. Jeez. Taped it up good here. There we go. So this year, so far, I have. What? I didn't order this. Oh my goodness. It's cute. Look at the magnets. That's why I like Shine Shop. Because they shine like a diamond uses some big old magnets. So cute. Uh, 
let's see. Package is really good. Oh, that is freaking gorgeous. Oh my god. It's a peacock quill or leaf, whatever you want to call it. My papa would know the, the proper name for it. This one goes for my papa. My rooster I got from Drill Pin Frenzy goes to my, my mama or my grandma. This one goes to my papa, because my papa was the peacock king. My papa loved peacocks. They would sit out in the field and go, Mow! Like, they would, swear to God, I, they sound like a cat, except for really loud. And then this one is for somebody. I'll go ahead and open it, though, because I want to see how cute it is before I send it to her. This one will match the other one I got for her. Or go with the other one I got for her, I guess you'd say. Come on. The tape. Good job. Oh my god, he's so cute. Look at him. He's so cute. Ah. Uh. Coming your way, Patriotic Beauty. It's so cute. So, that's what I got from Shine Shop. Plus, I seen some stickers that I, I, had, I just had to have because... <gasps> Look at that deal. Love it. And the Galaxy. Oh, yes, please. Love it. And this one was just, had those, the blues and the teals, and it was just absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Shine Like a Diamond. This is, I don't even know what to say, but thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Much love. Okay. I'm going to get this cleaned up, and we're going to get to that canvas. So give me a second. Okay, we are back to the Evermoment canvas. I got some paperwork here. I'm not going to show you the picture, because suspense. But this is something I've seen two times now through Evermoment, that they have sent this piece of paper so, and it talks about, as you see, the difference in diamonds. Uh, instead of them being made with resins, they are, are... Oh, so they're saying that there could be two different kinds. The price of resin diamonds are expensive and almost twice the amount... Or twice... Two times more expensive than the... Acrylic diamonds because the cost of material itself is more expensive. So they're using acrylic diamonds. Hey, I. Sure, as long as I'm still getting good quality diamonds, don't bother me none. Somebody's at that to the side. First off, we're gonna go through the toolkit like the usual. So, you get a pink drill pin, single placer, three placer, two purple squishies, two chunks of wax, ever moment tweezers, which are really nice tweezers, and will poke you. Are extremely sharp be careful and a white boat and also in the baggie is a six placer 
always a very nice toolkit from Evermoment. If you're buying a diamond painting for a beginner, this would get you by without a doubt. That's more wax than you'd probably need for this, this size painting. And then, as always, they give you the best bags on the market. In my opinion, these are the best of the best. They are awesome bags. I love working out of bags. I love storing all my diamonds in bags. So, I always can use bags. And a free gift. Some washi tape. It says Ever Moment. They used to give out like hair bands or something or, or a little hair scrunchie with a little thing on the back. Hey, I got long hair. I could have used a scrunchie. No, I'm joking. I got enough. So this is laying out pretty nicely. So why don't I go ahead and take a peek? see what it is. It's not a very big piece, but what size did I even buy in this? Oh, 40 by 50. So that's a decent. I didn't want to go too hugely big, but uh, yeah. Okay, so on a canvas like this, which is double-sided adhesive, it's always good to give it a little rub along your edge over here. It just helps those sheets stick down. On this one, it's split down the middle. Before you try to peel this up, because... If it's not pushed down good, it will peel up the double sided adhesive. Oops, and I ripped it. Oh well. Not a big deal. Oh, you can see that picture pretty good right there. It's a rooster. That's right. I'm going to call him J.B. Colbert. I don't know what I'm going to call him. There are some little rivery going on down here. It's nothing that can't be fixed. It... it Oh, Nikes. I saved it. Holy crap, don't try to pick it up and drop it out of your hand, Jeremy. Probably can't see him. Uh, you can't even, the camera's not even picking them up. But you can see the drill fills. It's nice and clear. Look at them hooks. Oh, yeah. There's, there's the even better hook. Uh, they're called spurs, but I like to call them hooks because if you don't watch it, they will give you a good old hook in the face. So, a story about a rooster. Um, I know I told you guys my grandma's like a... was a crazy chicken lady. She, uh sent me down to the chicken coop 
to get this rooster one day because we were killing. My family has always raised animals for food. I hunt for food. I don't hunt for a trophy. I don't hunt for a big show piece. Yeah, it is nice from time to time to get a nice buck, but I'm not the one that's going to go out there and just specifically hunt for bones. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, bones, it's horns. Horns are technically bones. I call them bones. I call does skinheads. It's code word when we're hunting. I know there's a lot of people who are like, I don't like hunting. Well, this is the way I was raised, so sorry. I would never change anything in my life. And I didn't start hunting until later on in my life. I was in my 20s when I started hunting. Both of my brothers hunted all the time from the time they were like 12, 13 years old they hunted. I mean, I hunted when I was young, but once I turned a certain age, you have to get your hunting license. I never did because I was in the kitchen all the time. I wanted to cook. So, yeah. Oh my god. The blues are absolutely stunning. He is so freaking cute. I can't wait to do him. This is going to be... A beautiful, beautiful piece. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick measurement on this to make sure it is close to the size. So you see how the double-sided tape goes up to there, and you can see the image stops there. I do have a video up showing you guys how to take that off of your borders because it is not I mean, a lot of people will just use washi tape and be good with it, but I take it off. It's easier. It only takes a second. So I'm dead on 50, and I am dead on 40, so it is exactly to size. Here is thumbnail so freaking awesome I can't believe I have a cock diamond painting oh god that that's that's bad okay so I got two baggies of drills we're gonna try to make this quick and simple I may just count them out and make sure they're all there and come back to you guys I don't know So there's a bigger picture of him. The chills in him are gonna be sexy! Uh, he's got 41 colors, which is for a 40 by 50. That's a pretty good size uh, number of, uh, get out of my hair, get out of my face hair. Good lord, this long hair is driving me nuts lately. It's like I put it up and it just, it's like, nope, I'm just gonna fall on your face. So, so anyways, back to the, the, the rooster story. So, my, grandma, my, my grandma told me to go down to the chicken coop and get this, this rooster because he's been a menace rooster and we don't need him anymore because we have multiple other roosters. He's been, uh, he's, 
he's well, okay, so he has t uh, tortured me every time I have gone down to that chicken coop. This is 7 Eleven. Where is. So. He was just an evil, evil rooster. And every time I'd go to the chicken coop, he would jump up on me and start pecking at my face. And he would... Sink his spurs into my back and his talons into my back on my shoulders. Uh, so my grandma told me to go get this rooster. So I was like, okay. And, and me, I, I'm dead scared of this rooster because he's chased me down. He's attacked me several times. 318. Two packages. And I'm like, Grandma, I don't want to go get this rooster. Two packages. And she's like, he's fine. He ain't gonna hurt you. So I go get this godforsaken rooster, right? And I get about halfway up to the coop. Or halfway up to the house from the chicken coop. And somehow he has... I don't even know how it happened, but I had to hold him by his legs, and I was holding him upside down, so it was supposed to be a little bit more calmer that way, and he, like, lost it, and I dropped him somehow, I don't even know, and he started just beating the crap out of me, and mind you, I'm only, like, seven or eight years old at the time, oh my god, look at that blue. Beautiful. 37, 37, 60, 37, 60. And so he's like just tearing the snot out of me, pecking at my, he jumps on my shoulders, like sinks his claws into my shoulders and starts pecking at my forehead, trying to peck at my eyeballs and just mean as snot. And when I seen this picture, that looks almost identical to him. So, I had to have it. Good old memories like that. Even if that damn rooster was the, the devil rooster, he would always pick on me. And just... There was times where my dad come running down to the chicken coop with a shovel or a baseball bat and beat the crap out of that rooster because he had me on the ground just terrorizing me. And my dad would come down there and beat the crap out of that rooster and he'd walk away and then the next day I'd go down there and that rooster would be doing the same thing again. So that's what my grandma said. Enough's enough. This rooster's gotta go. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. He he tasted good. Oh uh, uh, yeah, he tasted good. I know some people are going, Oh my god, you ate your rooster. Yeah. I'm savage. I like meat. What can I say? So, number two. So yeah, lots, oh my god, this is going to be a lot. Lots and lots of good memories with that rooster. He was, he was Satan rooster, but good memories. 
And this isn't the first rooster that we had that has been a psychopath. Six, six, six. Yes. I like how. Oh. I gotta get off my knee. I got bad knees, and I, that's just not a very good thing. I like how they have an arrow pointing up saying it's 666. So, anyways, I'm gonna pause you guys. I'm gonna bust through this. It's like 25 minutes long right now, and you guys will speed it up a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, they all check off. They're all there. All, 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 all freaking beautiful diamonds. The colors are going to be spectacular. I love that freaking color. Love teals and aquas and turquoise. <sighs> And any blue, really. I love any blue, but teals and turquoise are like my all-time favorites. So, that's it. Lesson for today. Don't open your canvas up halfway and then drop it on top of each other. Luckily, I acted fast and I saved the saved it and I was also extremely lucky that the the double sided adhesive didn't stick to each other so bad that it ruined it it still has good stick all the way around thank the lord above for that cause I would be getting a hold of every moment and being like hey, hey you know I, I, I need a new one of these can you just send the canvas? Because I got the diamonds. But. Lesson learned. With double sided tape. Or actually any, any, any canvas. Things can go south extremely quick. Be careful. What you doing. So. Once again. I got the ever moment with the Buddha for cock, rooster, whatever you want to call him, and uh, the stuff from Shine Shop. Thank you so much, Shine Like a Diamond. Lots of love. Thank you so much for that. Another beautiful ever moment. He's going to be stunning. He might go in my kitchen. But I don't know yet. My kitchen is so full of stuff. There's wood everywhere. Like, I have wood cabinets, I have wood cabinets, I have a wood wall. My kitchen is a disaster zone right now. I gotta cook. Ugh. Okay, anyways. So, I'm gonna wish you guys all a, a very awesome day. And treat each other how you would like to be treated. And I hope you get that same respect back. Have a good one. Laters.